Hey, what's going on guys? Ravi here from Ira FX along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So in this video, we'll be learning to make this fake camera moment from a stable tripod shot in a very easy way. So without any delay, let's get started. All right, so I have three videos in my project. So uh, each one of these videos is 4K video. So in order to animate the camera and take advantage of this resolution here, what I'll do is I'll simply create a new item called sequence. So I'll create a new sequence with settings with 1080p resolution. So you see we have 920 by 1080p resolution and I'll name this to um, camera movement and I'll hit OK. So now I have a composition that is 1080p resolution but if I drag my video onto, onto this um, sequence here, I'll keep the existing settings so that this video is basically, let me first remove this track. So the actual video is 4K but if I change this scale value to 50, you can see that this video now fits in perfectly because this composition is 1080p and this video is actually 4K. So in order to take advantage of this resolution, what we'll do is I'll simply, you know, create a timer here for the scale at, you know, at the value 50. And I'll simply, let me just trim this down to, you know, three to four seconds so what I'll do is I'll go to the end of this video and change the scale value to 85 all right so if I start playing this video this is how it's gonna zoom in all right but this zoom is quite you know not natural but so in order to fix that i'll reduce the scale value at the end so i'll reduce the scale value from 85 to you know around 70. so if i start playing the video this will now look quite natural and it zooms in something like this so this effect basically makes our dull video to to give it some cinematic effect so we can add another video into our project onto our timeline just like this let me scale this video to four seconds or four to five seconds so um, what i'll do is i'll simply create a keyframe at the um at the first frame for position because i want to pan this video in such a way that it looks quite good so i'll simply set the position like this and i'll simply scale this just so that it fits perfectly so at this point i want the video to pan something like this so in order to do that what i'll do is i'll go to the end of this video and change the scale value for x axis in such a way that the video moves something like this so if i start playing the video this is how it's gonna look like you can see that the camera is moving let it let me just render this out so if i start playing both the videos you can see that the first video zooms in something like this and the second video pans towards the left something like this so this is how you generate some fake camera motion and give a stable tripod shot a cool look so that it does not look boring. But the important thing that you'll have to keep in your mind is that you have to ensure that you don't overdo it just so that it looks, you know, quite unnatural. And let me experiment with this cool footage as well. Let me drag this to the video. Uh, I mean to the right side panel here so that it gets added to our sequence and uh, if I if I go here to this video what we have is uh, a golf cart going forward 
so we'll take the advantage of uh, the resolution and change this to um, something like um, a camera rotating effect so in order to do that go to the first frame of this video and set this timer button here for the rotation and move around or I'll also add a keyframe for the scale as well okay and I'll go to around the last frame of the video and I'll simply set the rotation value to something around 45 degrees all right and I'll just zoom this to 145 okay so if I start playing this video this is how it's gonna look like so the camera zooms in something like this along with the rotation that you see here so this is how you can use this scaling properties and the position properties to generate a fake camera movement whenever required i hope you learned something or the other from this video and if it helps you consider giving us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always connect with me on instagram at vfx guy ravi mr zebo would you like to add something subscribe for more tutorials all right so see you guys next time with another tutorial